Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I've been creating a more airbrushed look to my foundation. It's something that I've been doing a little bit differently lately. And one step might surprise you a little bit because it's something that I'm doing a little bit differently, but it's been working for me. So I'm going to share it in this video today. So we're going to get right into this video. So the first thing that I've been doing is I've been using this. I've been using the Le Blanc de Chanel. This isn't a primer. Like what it what this does, it just creates a really nice, pretty, luminous look to your skin. Now remember, I've some I'm somebody that oil has oily dry combination skin, but I just really like the way that this looks on my face. Then I've been going in with this. So this is my Gucci foundation. I love this foundation. I just love the look that it creates on my face. So I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender. Actually, I have to squeeze a little bit of the um, moisture out of that. So I always wash it before I use it. I wash it, squeeze it, and then I always take a towel and just get, you know, a little bit more of the wet, uh, the water out. I sent the wetness out. The water out. So I just, I just apply it to my sponge like this, and I just dab it like that. I actually have been putting some foundation on my nose lately and this is where it's going to surprise you. I'm actually working a little bit under my eyes which I normally don't do. I'm still going to put concealer on under okay and we're going to set that with powder you're going to see. So I know it looks like I'm just tapping it but I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to really push this into my skin. So when you're using your sponge whatever sponge you want you want to apply it all over like I did, but then you want to take the time to really push it in to your pores because you that's how you're going to get that airbrushed look. So it's not just laying on top of your skin. I'm going to take another pump, do the same thing. I just kind of dab it on my face like this, and then I start to blend it in. It has a little bit of a fragrance to it. You know, it's like the Chanel, but it doesn't bother me and it's not unpleasant to me and it doesn't last on me. I mean, I don't notice it. So um, if you don't like fragrance then you're not going to like this foundation, but use, use one that you enjoy using. I just really like the finish on this one. So working it under my eyes is something that I've just started doing. <laughs> And it's been working for me. Now I'm going to take my concealer. This is my Sicily concealer. You guys know I love this one. So I'm going to take this, the tiniest amount, teeny tiniest. I mean, you can see, teeny tiny, not much. And you're going to see how much coverage I'm going to get with this. It's ridiculous. And again, just tapping it in that same area. And then I'm going to start bringing it out. I'm just going to make sure I blend it really, really good. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury for this. And doing this has not messed up this powder. Somebody asked me that. No, it doesn't mess up the powder. I just take my damp beauty blender. I just take it like this. I swipe it in there and I just go like this and tap it on. Do it again and I go like this and tap it on. I love this powder because it's not drying and it just gives a really pretty airbrushed look. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this powder. I'm loving this powder. At first I didn't like it, but I figured out what I need to do to get it to work with me for me. And when you use this the right way, it will create a beautiful flawless look. Okay. And remember, if you're really dry, then I would not recommend this okay you may not want to use a powder I'm someone that gets oily skin so throughout the day my skin's going to get shiny and especially when I'm using something like this under it you know that's why you want to use something like this under it or a moisturizer always use a moisturizer so if you're someone that's dry moisturize 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 as part of your morning skincare routine and you might be able to use some powder because you're not going to be drying out your skin it's going to stay hydrated but I'm going to use this one. This is from Gucci, okay? This is the secret to using it for me, okay? I cannot use a brush with this. If I use a brush with this powder, it looks, it just settles in my pores. It doesn't look nice. So what I have to do is I have to use a little powder puff 
and I use the one that it came with. Okay, so what I do is I take the powder, I swirl it in it, and then I press the powder on my face. That is what I do, and it creates a beautiful finish on my face. Now, don't worry about my face looking like it's going to get a little matte because, like I said, my skin doesn't. If you, you know, you see me post pictures and you see me in my videos, my skin doesn't look matte. But I feel like with this foundation, especially, you do have to powder with it, and especially somebody like me that has oily and dry, you know, that oily, I gotta. This is what I do, and it just looks, it looks gorgeous. It looks beautiful. My skin looks like. I airbrushed it but the secret is that you have to use the powder puff and you just like I said you just press it in like this and I'm not using a ton of powder I don't feel like I am still not done there's something else I'm gonna do okay you're probably gonna think oh my god that's a lot it's not okay this is what I've been doing I'm just sharing what I've been doing I'm gonna go in I'm use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury just a little bit just on my cheeks just on my cheeks that's it okay I know it seems like a lot of powder but I'm not using a lot I can't stress it enough now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use the Gucci powder because when I'm putting powder on I'm not gonna go put a cream on top of it if I use a cream on top of this right now it's going to look really patchy so you have to just use the powder at this point all right and I do use creams you guys know I usually use my Chanel powder are my, my Chanel bronzer, my cream bronzer. I love that. But I'm going to go in with this. So I'm going to take my mare brush. I'm going to swirl it in here. I like to tap it off a little bit. And really lightly, I like to apply my bronzer. Really, I'm barely touching my skin. And when you do that and you do it in a circular motion, it just gives a really pretty airbrushed look. So I'm going to move my hair. Really, I'm like barely touching it to my face. And then I work it up here. Okay, so the next thing that I have been doing lately is I have been using a powder blush. I'm going to use this one. This is Rose in the Shale from Chanel. I've been using this highlighter, which I freaking love. So let's go in with the highlighter first. So I'm going to go in with the highlighter. It's going to take my brush. And I'm going to look. Now watch. See what it looks like? Now watch. This is just, oh my God, I love this stuff. Look at that. So I put it right here. And I've been putting it up here too on my temple. Just a little bit. See how that looks oh my god this this stuff is amazing so this is from Laura Mercier this is the highlight number one all the details will be below in my description okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of this and again I'm just gonna go right like this how did I not know about this this isn't a new product I don't know how long this has been around but holy cow just gorgeous uh, Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so, it's such a beautiful highlight, but it's not overpowering. I think it's beautiful on mature skin. Love it. I'm going to apply it right here at the top. And I'm going to go over a little bit of the highlighter, and that's okay. And I even bring it up like this. Because it just helps lift the eye. Do a little bit more blush. The same on this other side. So I always like to apply my blush color right at the right at the top there. Everything's got to get moved up. <laughs> That's how it is. You know what I mean? You get older, girl, and you got to start moving that makeup up. Okay? And it cracks me up. I have to share this because I see this on social media all the time. I don't know what the deal is. But these younger girls are starting to apply their makeup like us. Listen, when you're in your 20s, you don't have to worry about your face falling. Okay? So you can do that 
cheek thing and it's fine but when you don't have cheeks like me like I don't have cheeks and when I smile I have cheeks but when I don't smile I have no cheeks so I got to move that up and by so I don't understand why I see that <laughs> I don't understand why I see so many young people doing that because they don't need to do that but whatever um but see what the difference it makes how it brought up my face I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is how I've been applying my foundation my powder so when I first got this powder I was really really on the fence about it but I freaking love it now love it but you have to in my opinion if you tried this you don't like it try using the powder puff with it I'm not a powder puff person I didn't like it but it's like look at the finish that I have on my face it's beautiful the ingredients in this are similar to Charlotte Tilbury's flawless filter except it has cornstarch in it too that's one of the ingredients cornstarch so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give give it a thumbs up would really appreciate if you would share it you can follow me on all the socials and I'll catch you guys all in my next video bye you know what now you're gone <laughs> it's nice that I have this little friend here today <laughs> Nice to show up to the party. Okay. Guys, Sidman, I'm going to do that again. Hey, it's Annie, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs>